Okay, all seven intros that I just filmed, Future Robin, we're gonna ignore those. This is gonna be the one. I'm about to do the intro that's gonna make it into the video. You with me? Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm talking about a holiday set from Bite Beauty. It's called the Perfect Bite, and it is four mini lipsticks from the Amuse Boucher line. These are all part of the permanent collection. And if you've been with me for a while, you probably know that I love Bite Beauty. Their Luminous Cream Lipstick Formula was my favorite lipstick formula of all time until they discontinued it for these. I have tried one lipstick from this line before and I've been testing out these four for the past week or so. So we're gonna jump into the swatches and then I'll hop back on here and give you my review, all of my thoughts, and let you know if I think this is worth the $25. So let's get started. See, Future Robin, I told you, like that was it. That was it. Bam, that's how we do shit around here on Robin's Cup of Tea in take number eight. So let's talk about the packaging first, and I love this. I think it's super nice. I got this as a gift for my mom, and I loved giving it to her because it just looks really fancy and chic. It comes with this gold outer sleeve on it that shows you the four lipsticks, but then it has this red metal tin. It's almost like an elongated Altoid tin, and it's really nice and sturdy. Sturdy unless your cat is insane, like mine is, and throws it on the floor while you're trying to set up for this video. So mine has a nice little dent, and also, thanks to Tut, the generous mirror on the inside is completely shattered. Yes, but if you don't have a psycho cat like I do, then your packaging will be really nice, and I actually think it's a really nice tin. It'd be super handy to like throw a few things in, put it in your purse, it has a nice mirror, it's really sturdy, so yeah. Thanks, Todd. So the packaging for each lipstick, it looks like the full-size lipstick. It's got the same shape and the same kind of rubberized packaging, and I love that they made it look the same and have that same feel as the full-size. The only downside to the packaging is that the bullet, you can see I've used this one so it's worn down, but you can see that the tip of the bullet sticks out. So you do have to be really careful when you put the lid back on that you don't like smush half of it off. So as far as the formula goes, these are really nice. My Beauty honestly does not disappoint. They are super pigmented. I mean, you get full color payoff with one swipe. And because of that, I find this formula to be a little bit thinner feeling than the Luminous Cream lipsticks, but still really moisturizing and comfortable to wear. They also have incredible stain power for something that's not matte. So they never fully dry down, they stay creamy, they stay moisturizing, they don't move all over the place, they don't bleed outside the lip line on me, but I can still easily wear them for six hours without having to touch them up. I also really like the color selection in this kit. Fig is one of my all-time favorite pinks, just a really easy everyday pink. Pepper is another color that was my favorite from the Luminous Cream Lipstick line. It's just kind of that deeper neutral color that I think looks flattering on so many people. Nori is this really nice, deep, more vampy lip. And Honeycomb is a little bit more brown toned. It's still on the rosy side, but it's definitely the lightest color. And the nice thing about Honeycomb is that it mixes really well with the other colors. So if you don't wanna go full, bold and vampy with Nori like I have on right now. You can take a little bit of honeycomb, mix it into the middle, and it looks beautiful. So I love mini lipsticks. I think it's a great way to try a lot of different colors. If you're someone who, like me, has a ton of lipsticks and will literally like never finish one, I think it's a really good way to try some different things out. 
So because of that, if you like that sort of thing, I think it is completely worth the $25. I do, however, have one negative about these that is a big negative for me, and it is the smell and the taste. It's not the same as the old formula. It has a little bit more of a citrus smell to it, kind of like a little bit of a lemon tinge to it, and it's pretty strong. Like, I can smell it for a long time, and I'm not a huge fan of the scent. It's not the kind of really chemical, fake smell that gives me a headache, and it's not overly sweet. It's just unpleasant. And it does give me a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth, which would make me think twice before buying one of these in the full size. Overall, I'm really happy I have this set. Like I said, I love Bite Beauty. I love mini lipsticks. I think they're four colors that anybody can use and that are different enough from each other that they all serve a purpose. Let me know what you think about these lipsticks from Bite Beauty, if you've tried anything from the Amuse Boucher line. Let me know what other holiday sets you're excited to get your hands on. And of course, subscribe, because if you're a lipstick lover like I am, you're in the right place. Welcome home, we're gonna be friends. Thanks for stopping by today. Remember to hop on over to Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat and follow me at Robin's Cup so we can hang out and be friends all the time and hit that subscribe button so I can see you guys next time. Bye. So I'm gonna go ahead, so we're gonna jump into the lip swatches first and then I'll have my, anytime I try to, oh my God, I can't say any of the words. I can't even say the words explaining how I can't say the words. What the fuck? I also, I also really like the color selection. I also really like, I also, I also really like the color selection in this kit. Do I have a gray hair? Oh no, that's dry shampoo. Doing a half and half face today where one half of my face is all high-end makeup and one half is all drugstore. Now I love drugstore makeup and I am completely devoted to my budget beauty, but I am not someone who just goes around duping shit. I don't.